I'm going to show you how to make teriyaki yourself. Patience is not my virtue, especially when I'm on a yes. diet. Hey, hello everybody, it's uh, from Papa's Kitchen. And I really, first off, want to say thank you, all of you that have been following the last several videos and keeping up with us and my attempt at cooking something that tastes reasonably well. It's been fun and I really enjoy your comments and I try to get some kind of, at least, a, I read them all and then I try to get some comments going back to you. That's been fun. Oh, Alexa, please stop. I mean, right in the middle of my talking. Is she still going? Uh, Alexa, stop, please. I'm talking here. I'm on a plan that my friend Linda's got me on, which she's lost a great amount of weight that she wanted on it, and she swears by it, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm Since Monday, three days, I'm down four pounds, which is great. And because I'm not traveling, I'm really going to use the month of May to knock things down a little bit, because once I get down, I can pretty much maintain but, you know, over time it creeps up and it's been like over a long time, <laughs> maybe years. Uh, that's what I'm doing. So I'm really not dieting as much as I'm eating healthy, but I have lowered a number of things. I've lowered my carb intake like zero. <laughs> and uh, I'm not doing any kind of carbs like bread or rice or potatoes or my favorite pasta, nothing like that. I'm doing really just some... Uh, meat, four to six ounces, depending on what it is, and then some greens, and about a half, one and a half cups of greens every day. Beyond that, I'm doing these little fueling things of snacks that are about 100 calories each. So I think I'm only running like 800 to 1,000 calories, right? Is that 1,000, right? I think it is. Yeah, so anyhow, I, I don't know if I look any different. <laughs> But maybe within the next three or four weeks, you'll maybe be able to tell a difference. I'm really not after whether you can tell or not. I just know that I feel better when I'm walking, I'm exercising, and I'm eating a little bit better. Not traveling has helped me do that. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cook some uh, salmon. And I do love salmon. My wife would eat salmon. Susan would eat it, right? You would yes, eat it. Yes, every day. Every day, single, every day, or chicken. She's salmon and chicken. I don't like chicken very much at all, uh, unless it's really made right. I don't mind salmon. I don't mind shrimp. I, in fact, I like all seafood. But I haven't had any red meat. I'm not doing any of that right now, though. It is allowed. Next week, you promise. I, yeah, yes. I will. I'll We're do gonna... some. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. My temper's short. I've got a headache all the time. It's nuts. It's nuts. So, anyhow, I'm going to do some teriyaki salmon. And I'm going to, instead of getting out the teriyaki bottle, and just, you know, doing the sauce that comes with it. I'm going to show you how to make teriyaki yourself, and hopefully it'll all turn out right for, for me, <laughs> and hopefully for you if you try it. I've got about, oh, these are each about five ounces, five and a half ounces of uh, nice salmon steaks. They were already pre-cut. They came out of my freezer this morning. By the way, I got these from that butcher, what is that thing? Butcher box. Box or block? Box. That Sarah did not too long ago, and we ordered it. She said, Dad, you got to try the meat, and da, da, da. So I did, and the salmon is off the charts, and I've got, I live near the ocean. I've got a great uh, fish place or two down here. This is great, and it was a great price, so I've, we've really been enjoying this. And so uh, this is what it's going to be like today. Here, let's stop a sec, because okay. I got the light in it. So oh, do that okay. again, and I'm going to go okay. over here. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is get your trust. In my case, it's my uh, cast iron, uh, my big one, my 12-inch. Get it on the fire. And I'm taking some grapeseed oil. I like to do, I if I'm doing teriyaki or something else, I don't want the flavor of a different oil. So I try to do some neutral oil, but grapeseed has a high smoke point so that's why i like it does it have a taste no it doesn't really it, it really doesn't mm -hmm. and i'm going to put on the bottom here some grapeseed oil and um that's about enough right you gotta there watch your oil hon you're I, on a diet i know it i know it oh god <laughs> and then what i'm going to do is with my steaks i'm going to just salt and pepper them and i i do want to tell you the the thing that you need to really do if you really want good looking presentation of any kind of meat the drier it is, that goes with chicken, steak, and certainly with salmon, the drier it is, the better it's going to sear in that oil when we put yeah, it down. Yeah, I never knew that. Yeah, and so you want to get that really dry, 
as much as you can, and I'll pat the other side here in a little bit, but it's sort of, you know, dry. And then I'm just going to do a good, you know, not heavy, but bring out the flavors in the salmon with some good salt and pepper. I use kosher salt, that diamond crystal stuff. And it's not any good unless you stick your fingers in it. You know what? That's because I see other <laughs> chefs do that. She gets mad at me. It for gets up that. my fingernails. I don't want it up my fingernails. No, no, no. So, I'd rather have it in a shaker. No, 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 no. And don't, I mean, get some good salt and learn how to cook with some good salt. That was one of the first things I changed when I started cooking. Yeah, because yeah. The, the salt makes all the difference. And this is a kosher salt. It's diamond crystal. One of my favorite gals that I like to follow, Ina, uh, she uses diamond crystal. At first, you start over salting or whatever as you learn the potency of your salt right, that it's you pick. saltier? Is this it's, I think it's saltier than your table salt that you buy in the box. Really? Or whatever it is. Oh. Yeah. So I get everything dry. And here now we go with my salmon fingers. have its own salt because it's from the sea? Well, you would think so, but I think this just brings <laughs> out more flavor. It does. Salt always does that. And what you're wanting to do with this, you are going to, once that oil is heated up, and by the way, the way you'll know that oil is heated up is you'll start to see wisp of white smoke coming up. It's sort of like uh, the, the sacrifice is ready to be made kind of thing. When you get this uh, doing uh, to that temperature that you want on your eye there, you're going to lay it down, presentation side down. Because the thing you're going to want is you're going to want a nice sear on that steak. And so that's the first thing that gets cooked. So you're going to lay that down on there and, um, and let it cook that way for a while. And, and, you know, three or four minutes, whatever it takes, depending on the thickness of your steak. And then you're going to flip it over. And that's when we'll uh, go through and uh, make our own uh, teriyaki sauce. So that's sort of something to remember. The presentation side of what your chicken is going to be or what your steak is going to look like, or in this case, your salmon. Make that the thing you do first so that it cooks the way you want it. It gets a nice sear on it. In this case, I want it to look a little brown on there. Let's see. Patience is not my virtue, especially when I'm on a yes. diet. <laughs> Have I been short with smart? you lately? Uh, I think we've been short with each other. <laughs> <laughs> we might need marital counseling. Ooh, he's this, not cooking like he used this, to. Uh, mm -hmm. This is done. There we go. So that's really pretty good. So I'm going to, and by the way, always put it in and lay it down away from you. So put it in and lay it down away from you. And leave some space so that they don't steam on each other. And um, they'll cook nice and on their own. There we go. Are they going to stick at all? Well, you'll think it's sticking at first, but it's really not. It's uh, it's sticking, but once, this is funny, this is how this works. Once that sear is on that meat, doesn't matter if it's a steak or whatever, it will then release off the, um, off the pan. So I gotta give it some time here and let it do its thing. Yeah, it cooks fast. Yeah. Salmon does. And by the way, let me while we're waiting on that to do, let me tell you, there's only gonna be three, no, four. Make it four ingredients with this uh, teriyaki. I'm going to be using, and I this is I have to write the name down so that I did it phonetically, so that I can say it to you. But this <laughs> is really what you would know as sake or rice wine. It really is rice, fermented rice, uh, it, it, and it's ni hun chu. So it's, it's brewed rice is what it is. That's yeah. basically what that is. And then we also have really the same thing. It's called mirin, but it's, um, it's Japanese, mirin. but it's a sweet, it's a sweet uh, rice uh, wine. And this brings the sweetness that you would have in teriyaki. And don't tell Linda that I'm using this because I'm not supposed to be doing any sweet. <laughs> well, you should look on the back. I know. See how I don't want to look on the back. <laughs> oh, I don't want to look. And then soy sauce is going to be yes. added, oh, and that's going to give a nice color. And then <clears throat> all I'm going to do is out of the cornstarch, I'm going to make a slurry, and it's going to thicken things up. So that's basically what you want to do. By the way, if you don't have one of these, this is a spatula for fish. It's real thin and it's flexible and it gets under and it doesn't, you know, you don't really, if you can avoid using something like that, 
that's going to hurt your uh, fish. You want respect the meat, respect, respect the fish. The yes. So basically, you're letting that. You can see it starting yeah, to get white there, but um, ah. needs to go a few more minutes yet. Yeah. And so I'm just you feeling it out a little I bet bit. You can see. Hmm? You think it's ready? Can no. Eat? No, no, no. Not yet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not yet. We'll let it go a little bit longer. We want a nice tear on there. If I was not dieting, I would be making like a white rice with this, and I've also done some bok choy. And it's going to be perfect. I've knocked out the rice. In fact, I've got the bowl of rice, and I'm going to pretend that this is filled with white rice. I should put a note in here. White rice. Are you not, really? There's not anything is going to happen with that. We're going to do this and just the bok choy. So no, one other thing. Oh, you made a little uh, I cucumber made a little salad. cucumber yeah, tomato that's great. salad. That's yes. great. That'll be good. So again, I'm going to be looking to see. There, it's a little wiggly. That's great. And I can peek at it, like she said, and just see if everything looks like I want it. Yeah, a little bit, just a slight little bit more yet. Yeah, it's not sticking at all. No, once it gets that glaze on there, yeah. or that uh, sear, I should say. We're going to make the glaze, the teriyaki glaze. But once it gets that sear, ah, man, you're good to go. It's been brown there, it's just yes. beautiful. Nice. So that's sort of what you want. Woo! My reputation is intact. There you go. Those look great. Look at those, those, those look nice. Yeah. Here's the third one we put down. He's a little tight yet, but let's just see. It might be a little early on him. I don't know. Yeah, I want him just a little longer. And probably that fourth one as well. You should be able to smell it. We need smell of vision. Oh, man. Everybody says that, yeah. particularly on those on pies cookies. and cakes and all that. Kind of yeah. Did everybody enjoy the cheesecake? Yep. And then mm -hmm. the lemon meringue. And lemon meringue. Oh, and I don't God. know what else we'll be having played by the time you see this one. but I should tell everybody, we don't do dessert every meal. In fact, no. I only do it when I actually have company, if I even at that. Oh, look at how nice. See how nice yes. that turned out? So look, at, it's going to go pretty quickly now. There. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So now what I'm going to do... And see, no bread breadcrumbs. No, nothing like that. No, I like it like So now that. I'm going to make the teriyaki. And all I'm going to do, and really there's no measurement to this or anything, but you do want to because it's alcohol in there. It's going to burn off, Mother. You don't want to get it near the flame. You know, I mean, you don't want to light it up here. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, Put it and apply it away from me. And you're going to just put that in there. Like that, a little bit. And then I'm going to also do the murin. Murin. Got a low sodium uh, soy sauce here. And you're just going to let that cook for a few minutes. That's all it is. Oh, and then you thicken it with the corn. And I'll cook, thicken it with the corn. That's starch. right. And that's how we're going to make our teriyaki. Yeah, that's easy. Is enough. that easy enough? It saves money. It saves money than buying yeah, that expensive teriyaki. Yeah, because they're always stuff. expensive. Absolutely. So now I'm going to, it's cooking down a little bit, it's simmering like it's supposed to, and bubbling like it needs to. I'm going to put this in, and you'll see this start to do its thing here shortly as we you just you want to much. get that. No, you really don't. Mm hmm. A little bit more teriyaki in here. I mean, a soy sauce, excuse me. A little bit more of this. There we go. There we go. And I want enough. I wonder. And I should turn this Maybe way you down. Have taken the mm -hmm. out first. No, not really. But I do need to get it off the heat a, oh, a little I bit. See. Yeah. So that's the whole idea. Get that all around. Boy, there. I think I've totally forgotten how to cook. Mm. I did a lot by instinct after 30 some years. Something this is good. where I wish I had a gas stove because it's so much easier to control. Yeah. yeah, doesn't that look good though? Yeah. There we go. That's about all she wrote, folks. I do did sort of make a mistake and I pulled some uh, of the uh, the bottom off of that one piece of... Uh, oh, that'll be fine. But that's no big deal. Let me just put that right over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is sort of plate things up here. And we'll show you how that's all going to sort of turn out and look. Something like that, maybe. Now, we yeah. just steamed this bok choy, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, it's all steamed up, ready yeah, to go. I put a have, little bit of sesame oil on it. If you do different things with bok choy, let us oh, know. Oh, yeah. I this, love it, but I've only seen it in soups. Mm -hmm. Like with the ramen, you mean, or something like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or not even ramen, just um, clear, you know, in Japan. Or mm -hmm. chopped up in a salad. Mm -hmm. 
smells delicious. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our spatula and we're going to um, Yum. pop these out. Whoop! Oh, there that's we go. bad. It's not that hot, huh? No, well, I've got a... Oh, on the one hand. Mm -hmm. All that wonderful. There you go. Wonderful juice. Yeah, you probably could have made more juice. Huh? I could have probably. Yeah. yeah. And you can. You, it doesn't. There's no measurement. Just put in what you want. I could have yeah. made more. But hey, next time learn. Right. Doesn't that look good? <gasps> oh, watch yeah. out here. <laughs> yeah. And then watch this, babe. Watch. So we bring it over here. Oh, where? I get behind me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And let's do this. Let's I mean, add a little of, bit. Your behind is in front of me. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that's supposed to be said on YouTube. <laughs> we may get pulled off. Onions on top. Yes. Just cut them on the side. Oh, yeah. Let me see how you're doing that. And look at if I was really a good cook, I would have done my own. But I have a thing of toasted um, uh, sesame seeds. And you want to sprinkle those over this? Okay, look at there, guys. Oh, the presentation Perfect. is outstanding. And here's my rice bowl. Yes. Okay, this is sort of an after action report. I brought that's the same meal that you just see in the video of me cooking at my house. I brought the same thing up here to my folks' house. And because I didn't want to bring all the bottles of all the sake and the mirror and everything else, I just mixed it all up as you can see by this picture and I put it in this little container and brought it up. That by the way is a, maybe a trick. Do that ahead of time before you start cooking this thing and then you can just pour that in. That worked great. Let that come to a boil a little bit, a little bit of a hard simmer and then put your uh, cornstarch in and start stirring. It worked fantastic and by the way with the, uh, the instructions I'm giving you uh, uh, the ingredients you can always double it. it. It's not a matter of can you have less or more. You, you can. It won't affect the taste at all. And I made a little bit more because they made some rice and they made broccoli. And here's the picture of a final the thing. I did, I, it's my plate. I don't eat the rice, but it's the broccoli. Now, I know what many of you are thinking. I know what they're thinking. Those that watched the first video about the broccoli and our deal about the steamer and this, that, and the other. Oh my Lord, have mercy. I've never heard the end of it. So you wonder, I know what you're doing. You're wondering, how did we make the broccoli? Well, we're at her house, we use the steamer. That's right. Here is the infamous steamer. That's it. It works and it, it was done in, in five or six minutes and ready to serve. Yeah, okay, so there it is. I want one for Christmas. Okay. All right, good. Anyhow, enjoy the meal. It's great. It's a nice, easy meal with salmon. Very healthy for you. I love the teriyaki taste. Don't buy a teriyaki in the bottle. Make your own. This is how you do it. Uh, enjoy. Everybody left the table happy tonight. That's right. Oh, good. All right. See you next time.